Okay, uh, welcome back. This is uh, Dr. AP. So let us continue our discussion on uh, structural design. So we are now on the symbols. So this is how do you symbolize concrete, okay? So concrete. So on our engineering plan, okay? So supposed to be, so if you have engineering plan, so we'll have that kind of symbol, okay? For concrete material. So ganyan yan, no? So nalagay mo yan in your engineering plan. This is uh, architectural, so hindi yan nakalagay. So yun yan nakalagay sa structural plan, okay? So inside, okay? I think pupunta tayo sa structural plan. So, wala pala. Hindi pala kasama rin ito yung ano. So, hindi na kasama yung structural plan. Nasa kabila. Hindi ko na dula. Architectural plan pala ito. Okay, so anyway, uh, that's how then still, if the material is still, this is the symbol for steel material. Okay. Steel. And then for uh, what? Uh, timber. Uh, we have the symbol. Okay. Cross-section. Cross-sectional symbol. Uh, material. Now, let us uh, go to the definition of complete. Uh, because our subject is what? Reinforced, no? So, our subject is principle. Of the principle of reinforcement and yeah, pre stress concrete. So let us define all of this word. So let us define. What do you mean by principles? Okay, so let us take a look at the technical definition of this. Meaning, those definitions that is specific to civil engineering, that is what we mean by technical definition. Okay? Technical definition, specific for civil engineering. Okay. Principle. So this is a very common to us. Between the principle, collection of concept, ideas, stories, right? That pertains to a particular discipline, like civil engineering. Okay, it's a collection. So it is a what? Collection of ideas and concepts that are related to this specific discussion. Okay? So oh, that is what we mean by principle here. Okay? About reinforced. Okay. So technically, reinforced is like what I said a while ago. We are using other materials because our main material is concrete. We are using other material in order to support this main material. So when we are going to say reinforced, there is a main group, for example, there is a war. Reinforcement for the war. Right? There is a war in Ukraine versus Russia. Uh, Ukraine needs reinforcement, meaning there is a main group of Ukrainian soldiers 
and they need additional help. That is what we need very important. Additional help. Okay? Another group that will help. Another uh, component that will help the main. Okay? You need to say there is an idea that we have the main type of material which is now concrete and we are going to reinforce it. So, so there are several types of reinforced concrete. Therefore, okay? Next, uh, what do we mean by pre-stress? It's like what I said a while ago. So, pre-stress meaning we already uh, pre-formed the components on a place manufacturing uh, environment in a manufacturing environment not on the site and just deliver the component on site whenever it is now necessary for its use. Do not deliver the the poles, do not deliver the poles when it is not necessary. Why? Antayin mong mag-iba muna. Andun na yung ano, parang palit. Pero hindi naman, no? Pag nag-iba, saka ka, deliver no? Ang palit. Okay? So, ang dami na maka maka prepare na polong beam malamang yung building na yan ay eh, ididimulis at papalitan so ganun no maraming ganong pangyayari in civil engineering so there are old buildings particularly in uh, Cebu Bohol area very old buildings subject for but uh, rehabilitation okay so the main parts main structural parts must be replaced right so, pero yung mga historical isto, mga historical those historical structures hindi nila i-demolish yun no? ang tawag din is no? like heritage national heritage okay? so they will not demolish it for a uh, tourist purposes, no? as tourist as attraction. But those uh, buildings, those structures that would be, would function for uh, normal use of occupants, they will surely be rehabilitated or repaired or replaced. No? replaced. Structurally, when we say structurally, those load-bearing components will be replaced. Structural. No? As uh, just like we uh, talk about on our uh, introduction, so, that is pre stress. What do we mean by concrete? So, technical definition of concrete. Concrete. Concrete is a what? Okay, concrete is a mixture of cement. Okay. Sand, gravel, put together in a predefined proportion. There is a predefined proportion that uh, the engineer designed. Designed it to be plus the addition of water. Okay? So this is the technical definition of concrete. This mixture. Okay? So. It must be cured. Cured. Meaning to say, we have a what? Curing process. There must be a curing process. Again, that would entail so much time, period of time. Right? Curing process. What do you mean by cured or curing? We mean that we have to wait for concrete, for wet concrete, to dry. Okay? We are just waiting. Okay? Curing is waiting for the concrete to dry. So, so when... Uh, ever 
we have the pouring pouring of wet concrete then after some time we have to wait specific number of days then uh, there is a uh, time that we can say this uh, structure is now cured is now or has gone or undergone the uh, curing process okay so the curing process is also being defined and specified by the designer the engineer so thank you so curing process hmm. Depending upon the specification of the designer, for example, uh, we have in pack that in pack uh, seven days. We have fourteen days. We have twenty-eight days. Okay. Actually, this is a uh, what we really target. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't take note. We have a form. Imagine the time element. That's why when engineers here one week they are able to construct a 1,000 bed capacity hospital within one week. Only the curing process will surpass that. Okay? You need 28 days. And therefore, this 28 days was done on the manufacturing plant. Okay? And then just deliver the pre-stressed component on site. Okay? They follow. Yes. Just like what they are doing during their childhood, they are putting on the assembly of lego okay part by part it is being assembled easily any form that you want you can make up a lego of any shape or form that you want okay same as that with that uh, idea we can do any realistic uh, size structure with that same idea, eh? Okay? So we are only testing the uh, strength of the structure, seven days, 14 days, but really we are targeting the people. So we have to what? Uh, sometimes we need to test. Test and evaluate. Test and evaluate the strength. Okay. Those, uh, those information and data are good for evaluation and testing for process. Okay. So thank you for the donation. Okay. So, there is a what? Several proportion of cement, gravel and sand. Okay. For example, one part cement, two parts sand, okay, sample. So, proportion or mix, concrete mix or proportion, proportion or concrete mix or mixture. Sample. Ah, we can we can actually we can actually use uh, Google because I, I do not. There are several types, so there are several types and for example, we have the uh, 
cement mixture. And what can you say about this in our culture, in uh, Filipino culture, when we say this structure, this structure, we call this as cement. We call cement. Yeah? So in Tagalog, cemento. They are uh, asking, naka-cemento ba ang banyo? <laughs> Or cementado ba ang banyo? That is uh, misnomer, meaning wrong. But we are uh, still doing it. The correct statement is concrete. Concrete ba ang banyo? This is a concrete floor and not cement floor. Okay. Hindi ito cementado. Ito ay concreted. Ha? So, that is our tradition as a local dialect of Filipinos. It became a tradition that you use, that we use that word wrongly. No, misnomer. Because Uh, when you say cement, that is the component that you usually buy from hardware. Why? Right? The powdered material that you buy from hardware. And usually 40 kilos per sack. Right? Okay? 40 kilos, one sack. Okay? So that is what we call cement. And that is also not a concrete. It will become a concrete when you mix all of this. So, so are we clear about that? So now, this is now your difference with common people. You are now aware of the difference. So they are actually the correct mixture of this. Is being designed by engineers. They can decide this correct mix. But in a real application, in actual, uh, there is a what traditional proportion. There is a traditional proportion. But we can always uh, design the proper mixture for our own project that would be different. Just like just like a uh, baker. We can bake a uh, what? bread, but have our own recipe. Our own recipe, different from the recipe of other baker. Okay? Okay. French bread, pandesal, have different recipe. Okay? So we can have several different combination of percentages, proportion of this. However, I will give you The result of my search from Google, just like uh, right now. Okay, so we have one is to two is to four. Okay, okay, one is to two is to four. One is to two is to four. Okay, that is one type of mixture, and they call this mixture M1. They call that mixture M1. No? And then, uh, uh, M, uh, rather M15, no? 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. Okay. 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 is, uh, is called M15 and 20. Okay. So, there are several, there are many. Uh, what uh, proportion and actually why they are doing this these are some sort of standard meaning you can order that you can order that from the plant again even this mixture can be ordered from the plant and they will deliver it to you 
through the use of trap mixer. There is a mixer, trap, okay, that will mix it up during the travel time. So, it is not already mixed on the plant, but through, during the travel, it will start mixing. Then after uh, it arrives on site, that is fresh, wet, concrete. Okay? Okay, so if you order that. So you can order this. But if you want to have your own, for example, if you want to have your own proportion, for example, you can put on your name. This is my proportion. MZ. Because I like Santua, right? MZ. <laughs> 1 is to 1.49. Okay? <laughs> is to 2.99. <laughs> okay. Ito pala nag-design yan. Sige, gawin mo. Pahirapan mo sarili mo. It's possible. What I mean is, you can have your own proportion as a designer then. Uh, when you do that, uh, you must be sure, you must be uh, uh, sure that dati mo na nagawa to. You already have studied it. You already have experimented on it. Meaning, even the result, you already have the expected strength of your own recipe. That is a recipe. I am a cook. And this is my recipe. Nothing wrong with it. But, you must have your own expectation. What is the strength of this? After 7 days. What is the strength after 14 days? And after 20 days, you have expectation. Why? Because after doing this on the different side, for example, you have to test and compare if uh, what's happening in your current uh, construction is comparable to what you expect. Okay? So your expectation because uh, you have to compare it. Okay? And then, if uh, your expectation is actual, are so different, therefore, there's something wrong. Okay, you have to assess where the problem came from. Okay, so that is, that is the only meaning why I put on this uh, crazy example, no? No one will do this, no? 1.49. And 2.99. Okay? It is not actually possible in civil engineering. It is possible in mechanical engineering, but civil engineering is not possible. It's too. It's too accurate. Okay? How can you be sure of the strength of this concrete? No. The accuracy is not on the Hundreds or thousands, so about 5%, 10%, that is the accuracy, but thousands, hundreds, that is not the accuracy in civil engineering. Okay, so that is the idea. So there are many of these, therefore, uh, can you say, hmm. Why, sir, why do we have so many different proportions? Because of the taste. We are going back to a certain cook or chef because of the taste of his or her recipe. We are going back. Huh? Uh, the same is true with engineer. You are hiring a particular engineer because of his or her ability to design to uh, give you the correct proportion that is reliable and safe. Okay. So, do we, how do we logically explain 
when the uh, proportion of sun increases, the strength of the material increases because we are dealing with the structure and we are supporting a load, we need strength. Okay? We need strength. What we need from our material is to be strong enough to support a load. Okay? What we need for the poles is to be strong enough to support the electric cables for a period of 30 years, for a period of 5 years, for a period of 10 years. Meaning, there is an expectation for a period of time for this. Okay? So always, always in engineering design, there is a time element, right? Time factor or time element always in the design. In the design, we have to call this as lifespan. Lifespan of your design. What is your expected lifespan of your pole, of your highway, of your bridge? Right? Lifespan. Three years. Lifespan of your roads, and the road is not yet damaged, and uh, you are already jackhammering the road. <laughs> oh. What is it? Because there is a lifespan. For example, the road is uh, designed for three years, and therefore, even if it's not yet damaged, it's already done its design life one. It is as simple as that. And that is nothing wrong about that. Even though there is no damage. The engineer must be praised. Not the corruption of whatever person. So the uh, level of understanding of our uh, local community Always, when they see roads being jackhammered without any damage, they instantly assume there uh, must be a corruption. That is not the way. That is a uh, wrong information. Okay? What if the road is designed for two years? A road or a bridge can be designed for months. For example, a bridge. You can design a bridge that would only last for one month. Can you design a bridge that uh, could only last for one month or three months? And why will you do it? Is it reasonable to design a bridge that would only last for uh, three months or two months? Yes. Yes. Why? Why not? If the main bridge is broken, you can have a temporary bridge that would only last for one month. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? That's why we need to be more but more logical when we are commenting on viral uh, memes or uh, videos or pictures. No? They are being sensationalized by uninformed and ignorant people. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. So, always assume regularity first. When you have evidence, that's, uh, that's the time that we assume, or that's uh, the time that we point to the corruption. We have evidence. First, assume regularity because that is possible. Okay? What happened to the Pangasinan a bridge that uh, was collapsed no? one month ago or two months ago? Okay? So there is a what? temporary bridge that would last for six months, for example, while the main bridge be repaired. And nothing nothing wrong with that. The roads not yet uh, damaged. They are just covering because the roads already that is lifespan. 
because the project of so many politicians are only for three years because their service is only for three years. That's why they will ask, they will ask for money that could uh, be used for a project that would only last for three years. Okay? And I will, uh, I will ask you, how much is the same project, the same road, that would last for three years and that would last for 30 years? Which one is expensive? 30 years. Meaning to say, the politician was not able to get the, the uh, good amount of money and the money got for the project is only for three years. That's why. Okay? Okay? Why, uh, why instantly assume corruption when uh, we do not have evidence? Okay? The real thing is, Philippines do not have so much money for a better life span. We do not have. That is the reality. They will not give you funding for 30 years, for 50 years. They will only give you funding for 3 years or 6 years. That's why politicians do not have any recourse. Okay? Okay? So I do not uh, depend politicians, but let us first think of regularity huh? on their job. Then when we have uh, concrete evidence against them, uh, we can cry foul and corruption. Okay? So, therefore, the next question here. Can we say the more cement? Cement, the more cement component the is stronger is the concrete can you say this no. sand gravel water which one of these make the concrete strong sand gravel water Water can make the concrete strong? Or cement? Cement. Which one? Cement. cement. Oh, therefore, can we say that having more cement, the stronger would be the result of concrete? Can you say that? Right? Oh. Because uh, you said that cement, out of this poor material, so out of this poor material, Because cement is the material, actually, the purpose, the function of cement is to ban the gravel and sand to each other, link them all together. Okay? Ah. Now, again, the question is, can we say the more cement component, the stronger is the concrete? Can you see that? Hmm? When different. So, ano pala? The more, oh, the more water, the stronger would be the concrete? Ah, what is your opinion? Oh, yeah, the, depends on the damina. Water, gravel, sand, Ah, pag maraming gravel, the stronger is the concrete. Ah, pag maraming sun. Ah, it is cement. Can we say that? 
Oh. Doon din pa nababagsak eh. No? So, <laughs> may payo-ayo pa kayo eh. Doon din pa nababagsak eh. So, the fourth is cement. Meaning, oh, oh, uh, example. Particular example. For example, one bag, example, uh, example. One bag, cement. One similar measurement. One bag of cement, uh, maybe one bag is one cubic uh, foot, no? One cubic foot. Yung volume na, yung one bag, one cubic foot. Okay? And then, therefore, one cubic foot of sun. And then one or two cubic foot because it was like a uh, gravel to be hot. Then, due to what? Why would why we would like gravel to be there? Two cubic foot non gravel. For example, how many liters? One cubic foot. Ah, so we're done to be there, no? Maybe we go there, no? Uh, so then at the point two, cubic foot. Cubic foot naman kasi. Cubic, cubic foot. One foot. One foot is one foot, right? So, one cubic foot is like this. It is one foot, one foot, and the height is also one foot. And I don't know if you observe this. This is very popular when you are doing reinforced concrete construction using manual means. Meaning, using laborers rather than motorized equipment for mixing. Right? So there are mixer that is motorized uh, on the uh, site. Then there are laborers mixing it up using manual labor. Okay? And then they are using this. That is actually equal to one foot, one foot, one foot. One cubic foot. You know that they, uh, they put they put on what do you call that? Handles. They put on handles. What is that? Oh, I will draw it side view. Side view. Handle. So side view. Okay. Okay. Uh, they, is, uh, they are using this in order to to measure and also to transfer, transport the uh, concrete from the uh, mixing area to the uh, site of construction. Okay. Okay. So, this is actually one foot, one foot, one foot. Okay. Okay. Uh, one bag of cement. So if you uh, have one bag of cement, which is 40 kilos, you put on here, it is exactly, exactly one pool of this. Okay? And then, again, measure, measure some, then two, two of this for gravel. And then the amount of water. How to leave? For water, very important, for water. We need clean water. Clean water. If you can use uh, potable water, better. But clean water, clean water is not uh, equal to potable water. But uh, that is usually the case. No, do not use water from the canal. Okay, dirty water. Do not use because it will obstruct on the function of cement to ban the sand and gravel to each other. Okay? So the result is 
lower uh, lower strength okay so we need to strength high strength material we need high strength material or stronger material so lower uh, strength meaning parang nakakatawa yun ano? mahina yung lakas mo ano? lower strength no? mahina yung lakas no? okay so lower strength meaning weak no? weaker concrete is uh, water, no? Clean water, dapat. Clean water. In terms of concrete, the actual meaning of clean water is clean water without salt, without sulfates. That is what we mean by clean water. Without salts and without sulfates. And therefore, that is actually almost comparable to potable water. What do you mean by potable water? The water that we can drink. The water that we can drink. If you use mineral water, it's better. Right? But, meaning, the water that we can get from the Nawasa, that is okay. From the Nawasa. Okay? Not from the canal. Okay? We can uh, use the water from the rain, but do not allow the rain to go on the ground before you collect the water because the ground is dirty and full of sulfates okay and salt okay. not the table salt I'm talking not of the table salt but salt component chemically speaking chemical elements okay why? because I noticed there are so many carpenters or mason in our uh, local language, mason. Nakita, may kanal. Nalagin niya. Nakita. Ah. Okay? Bakit nga ba hindi? Eh, yung mga anak nila naglalamoy uh, ito sa kanal. Nanguli na ito. Oh, Nanguli na ito sa kanal. Hindi nila alam, puro dagang ito. Hindi nila alam. Dagat palakangan doon nung dalamay siya. Kaya alam nung karpintero, ah, pwede ito. Dalaro nga yan ako dito eh. That is not, okay, no? that is uh, very weak output concrete. If you do that. Okay. So, so, compare this, this uh, proportion, compare this now, Okay, in order to answer this question, question, okay, compare that now, two. So it's a uh, example A and then B. What about one bag cement, cement, and then sun, two, sun, and then three gravel. Okay. What do you mean by this? One pool of this. One pool. What do you mean by this? Two pool of this. Okay, two. When we say two pool of this sun, then then three pool of this for gravel. And then for example, the same water, amount of water. So oh, siguro one, no? Kasi ang tumadate naman yan, no? One or one. Water lang naman yan, no? Water. Kasi ito, ganito ka nga ng tubig. Pwede kasi one bag of cement, eh, no? And then two. And then three. Okay? So, ito na one, no? Or pwede yung one half siguro. Kasi ganito ka nga ng tubig, no? Alam ito. Okay? Okay? Now, Letter A or letter B? Which one is stronger? Which one is stronger? A. A is stronger. A or B? Sa malata yan. So, 
Bawasan natin tubig. Kasi yung tubig, ganito lang karami. So, gawin natin kalahati lang ito. No? Ganito lang naman. No? 0.5. 0.5. Okay. <laughs> is 50 kilos, okay? Oh. So, which are uh, which are the reason or in short, which is your choice? A, A or B? A. Oh, let us make a survey. Lopez. A. Ramos B Delicano A Pinabra A Panoy Budunal A Sadia Indaton A Siskar Floralde Narparte. Ha? Wala si Panoy. Saka si Florante. A. A. So, A. Nine. And B. One. So, meron isang hindi magiging engineer, no? Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Eh, 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 So the result would be uh, the result would be stronger for A or for B? Because they have the same amount of cement. They have the same amount of cement. Sa gravel, kasi sa dito na mas marami yung sun kasa sa sunay. So parang mahirap na yung halong-halong. Okay. So meaning to say, sun and gravel in a case B. Hindi mapapatayan ng cement yung sun to yung gravel. Plus how many proportions? Five parts? Five parts. There are only two parts. Ah, three. One plus two is three. Okay. Three part. Three full of this against one full of cement. These are five. Five full of this against one for cement. So the proportion is uh, one is to five. This is one is to three. No? Okay? So the uh, percent of cement here is one. One over four 25%. This is a 25% proportion for cement. Okay? Uh, actually, uh, let us... This is actually 25% cement. 25% cement. B is uh, what? 
1 over 6. 1 over 6 is how much? 16. Huh? Or 17 percent. Is that correct? 1 over 6. Right? Is that correct? 16.66. Right? Is that correct? Please uh, divide. 1 over 6. Okay. That is 16.666. 17%. So, a little bit different, no? With higher concentration of cement. A lesser concentration of cement. Okay? Therefore, uh, A is going to be stronger. Okay? A is going to be strong. This is the, this is our Justification. Justification. Why 25%? Because 1 over 4. 2 plus 1 plus 1 over 4. This is the total material. Total material. Okay? And then B, 6. 1 over 6. Right? Total amount of material, 1 bag, 1 over 6. Okay? Other 4. Uh, using our simple arithmetic, so we can justify that uh, cement has a uh, what, uh, higher concentration on letter A, therefore, we expect that the result concrete would be stronger. Expectation, okay? Because cement has the function of bonding the uh, sand and gravel. Actually, technically, sand and gravel is a specific example of what? What really need is uh, coarse particle and fine particle. This is what we really need. What we really need as a component for concrete. We need coarse particle and fine particle. So one example, one example of this is gravel. Okay? One example of this is sand. Therefore, this collection of uh, components as a definition of concrete is not accurate. It's not 100% accurate. This is only one specific example. One specific example. Because there are other types of coarse aggregate or particle. Coarse aggregate. Ag re gauge aggregate. Right? Coarse aggregate, fine aggregate. Okay? For example, there are other fine aggregates that we can use, not only the sun. We can use, for example, uh, steel. Steel component as a sun. Do you know the uh, the uh, blacksmith with what? Making sword and bolos and sharp materials. They are making sharp tools. What they are doing is grinding, grinding the metal so that it will become sharp, okay? pointed and sharp. So grinding them, what will you observe? There are small particle components that fall on the ground. And those are not sand. They are metal, steel. And you can actually use that as a sand replacement. Instead of sand, you will use that. And what is your expectation? Is that replacement 
better than the sand or not? Hmm? Okay. So, you may uh, you may actually justify the saying so that uh, the steel is susceptible to ferric oxide, which is the whole kalawang, ferric okay? oxide, susceptible. But that's why I tell you, ferric oxide. It will become kalawa when there is oxide, when there is oxygen. Okay? When there is oxygen. That's why it is called ferric oxide. Kalawa is called ferric oxide. Rust. Rust is called ferric oxide. It will become kalawa if there is an oxygen. That's why if you use this steel inside this, it will not be affected by oxygen because oxygen is outside and cannot penetrate. That's why if you uh, try to jump out of this, all the metals inside do not have ferric oxide. Because the oxygen cannot penetrate. Okay. Okay, are we clear? Yes. So your worry of ferric oxide will not matter. Okay. So again, in your opinion, which one would be better? Sun or what do you mean that? Steel? Slab. Okay. Or when you are eating pandesal, there are plenty of small particles which are called crumbs. Okay? Bread crumbs. Oh, bread crumbs. Okay. What do you say? What will you use? Sun, steel slug, or bread crumbs? Okay, so nobody will use the graph here. The same small particle, but it doesn't have so much strength. Okay, the expectation. It is not an opinion. There are already so many experiments that use still is now again, they are better. <laughs> but, of course, this is costly. No sad sometimes. Most of the time, this is free. If you have drop, you can go to the beach. <laughs> and pick up all the sun. <laughs> that is, of course, wrong, but Filipinos are doing it. No, they are doing it. That is free. And even if you pay, in those areas, one truck of sand is uh, 20 pesos. But if you buy sand from the hardware, that is 120 pesos. One truck. So, that is sand. Huh? Also for gravel, gravel is uh, much harder to be found than sun. Eh? Particularly in uh, areas in Pampanga, uh, the uh, Lahar area, they are using the Lahar as the sun. So, actually, they are free. Free. Free quarrying in Pampanga because there are too many Lahar or sun. Uh, particles there in the Pampanga area. Hey. Hey, imagine that. I think Lahar is what? 1990s? Pinatubo Mount, Pinatubo eruption is 1990s. And up to now, there are still free quarrying and 
not yet gone up to the bottom of the original uh, soil. Okay. Imagine the amount of lahat. Okay. Actually, uh, currently, I think uh, they are stopping now the free quarry, but Ano nangyari? Marami nang yumaman, no? Dahil sa free quarry, binibinta nila. Even though 20 pesos per truck, dami. Dami yumaman dyan, no? Then, habang tumatagal, tumatas din yung presyo. I think, I don't know how much is it today, no? One truck. Oh, saan? But still, slag. could be costly because how much is a one kilo of steel scrap about uh, 20 pesos one kilo of scrap scrap steel okay, that, that is already scrap scrap steel okay? but it could cost 20 pesos per kilo oh, one kilo 20 pesos one truck 20 pesos Okay. One truck is about three to five tons. Oh, three tons na lang, no? Three tons is about three thousand kilos versus one kilo. Three thousand kilos versus one kilo. The same amount, twenty pesos. So what will you do? That is good. But although. This is a special case. It's only it becomes abnormal. It becomes normal huh? that we are using sun because of cost. Okay. There are other there are other types of fine aggregates. Right? About gravel. There are other types. Gravel. So you know, yung buto ng tao napakaan niya. Napakatibay. Maraming buto na lang, ha? Bones. Mag-buto pa yung So, di ba? Di ba amin yan, no? Bones. Gawin mong grabe. Gawin mong grabe. Para pampatibay ng building, no? Anyway, uh, marami replacement din yan, no? Mga scrap metal din, no? Scrap metal. Those uh, metals, uh, scrap that are bigger than sun. Okay? What is the difference? Usually, the difference of this is 6, I think 6.75 mm. Let us, you know, assignment. Assignment, huh? uh, Let us Google right now. That is defined in your geotechnical subject. Do you have geotechnical subject? That is uh, a subject wherein they define the uh, maximum size of sun and over which the material is called Gravel. So I think six point size. How much? Two point zero sir. The maximum size. Maximum size of sun. Geotechnical. Two point zero. That is one. That is one standard. That is one standard. There are. At least three to four standards that you will be studying in geotechnical. One standard is 2.0. Right? Sun size chart. Sun size chart. So do not. Uh, Go to the environmental soil particles. Go to the 
सिविल इंजीनियरिंग और जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग बिकॉज आवर डिफिनेशन इज वेरी स्पेसिफिक टू आवर डिसिप्लिन डिफरेंट डिफिनेशन इज बीइंग एक्सपेक्टेड इफ वी आर गो टू द डिक्शनरी so we do not follow that we follow geotechnical so you can say sun size geotechnical geotechnical engineering that is 4.75 that is uscs this is one standard in geotechnical uscs So, hindi natin kasihan yung ano. Kilala natin USCS. USDA and AASTO. At least three standards that we use as a civil engineer. We do not follow other definition like dictionary. So, USCS 0.075 0.075 to 4.75 mm that is USCS definition of sun right what do you mean by USCS? United Soil, I think. United Soil, tama ba? United Soil Classification System. United Soil Classification System. Right? USS. Your geotechnical subject will also have this standard. 0.075 mm. Very small. 1 mm is very small. And this is 0.075 mm. Very small. Very small particle. But four point seven two five feet, because this is what we mean by four point seven two five. I have a right, okay. four. Point seven two five. So less than five mm. Five mm is one half of the centimeter. Okay. Five mm is one half of centimeter. Therefore, this is four point seventy five. This one, the the space between these two is four point seventy five. Okay. It is less than five. Uh huh. Okay, that's all. Less less than five. So if we if I show you five mm, this is Okay. This is 5 mm, almost the same with 4.75. 4.75, very near 5 mm. This is 5 mm. Okay, that is the distilled definition of sun. And actually, carpenter and uh, hardware do not say this is sun. Okay, they say this is pebbles. Pebbles. Okay. So, when you are talking to hardware and carpenter, they will say, say this is pebble. Pebble. Okay. This. Okay. The space in between this, that is 5 mm. That is... Almost the same width, 4.75 mm. It's still called sun. Still called pine aggregate. Okay? And therefore, what is the size that we call gravel? Oh. This one is also called gravel because this is already 5 mm. Larger than 4.75. It's already called gravel. Up to I think two inches. Up to two inches, 
that's a very big gravel. Uh, the usual that uh, we are using in the construction is one, one inch or three four inch gravel. Uh, two inch, uh, two inch gravel is this one. Two inches. Two inches. Okay. Oh, let us uh, use the same. What is the uh, size of gravel? USA. So, so let us. Uh, because that is the food. Gravel. But uh, three port inches, one inch, that is this one. Eighty mm. Ah, no, 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 that's it. Soil is called gravel if particle size between eighty mm to 4.75. This is 4.75 up to 80 mm. 80 mm is 8 centimeter, no? So, so 80 mm. Nandito, ano? This is only 2 inches. 2 inches is 50 mm. 50 mm. Gravel according to you. Nandito. Nandito USS. Let's go to USS. Let's go to UACS. That is not UACS. What is UACS? UACS, ganun pa rin, no? Ganun pa rin, no? Gravel. Can you confirm? This is UACS. So, 4.75 up to 80 mm. USCS So I will show you I will show you 80 80 is uh, more than 3 inches More than 3 inches So 80 mm is more than 3 inches So this is 80 huh? This is 80 This is 80 mm this is more than 3 inches. So 3 inches is about 75 mm. 75 mm. Because 1 inch is about 25. 25.4. So 3 inches. This is called gravel. It will not be used here. This uh, gravel will not be used here. It could be used on big column, or big column, but it will not be used on small column. For example, the column is smaller. It will not be used. They will use maximum, for example, one inch or three port, three port inch. Okay. Okay. So those are the standards. Okay. So we already know. What do we mean by it's a fish? Okay. Particularly water. I will uh, state it again. Water must be clean. Without phosphate and sulfate. So, cement. So, there are Five types of cement. And five. <laughs> okay, uh, let us uh, cut it here. Uh, when we come back, we will discuss the different types of cement.